Renew, restore, revive your church and make us more. Ignite, transform, take us to a place we've never seen before. You've done the impossible. We've seen our mountains move before. Your word is unstoppable. With expectation, we today. Can we get that vertical connection in tune right now? We worship you, God. We're sensitive to your voice in this place, Jesus.
there is no way through we've heard the tide will never change they haven't seen what you can do because there is power in your name there's so much power
arise in this place. Let faith arise in this place. I'm going to sing that chorus one more time. Sing, move the immovable. That's it. Let's lift up Jesus. Anything's possible in this service today. Do you believe it? By faith in the name of Jesus, anything's possible today. I'll have faith for you if you don't have faith for yourself. I believe you can, you can overcome anything you're facing right now. I'll have faith for your situation. You may, you may not find a way out, but I believe, I believe it can happen for you today in Jesus' name. There was a miracle in the Bible where a man was lame and he couldn't get to Jesus. He had some friends of his get on the roof and rip the roof off. That's called faith for your friend right there. Sometimes you can't get there, but I can help you get there. And I believe that somebody in this room right now, I believe you can get what you need in Jesus today. You may have tried and tried, and you may not be able to get to him. But with the help of God and some friends, you're going to get a breakthrough in this service today. You're going to have it. You're going to see it happen. You're going to walk out of this service in Jesus' name. Why don't you let somebody else have enough faith for your situation? Why don't you use somebody else's shout to build your faith up that you're going to overcome whatever's coming against you in Jesus' name? Come on, lift your hands up right now. It's going to happen for you in Jesus' name. I believe for you in Jesus' name. I believe this is not the end. I believe you'll walk again. I believe there's hope for your situation. I'm willing to help carry you. I'm willing to help believe for you. Don't give up and don't quit. Thank God for the church of faith. Thank God for people around me who have not given up their faith. Thank God for shouters around me who telling me that it's going to be all right if we keep on pressing forward, if we keep on moving forward in Jesus' name. There's still hope in the name of Jesus. There's still hope in the name of Jesus. There's still a way to get this done in the name of Jesus. Yes, I believe that today it's going to happen. I believe it's going to happen today in Jesus' name. Amen. I believe it. Do you believe somebody nearby you can get a miracle today in this place? Has God been good enough to you for you to have faith for somebody else? If the Lord got you through, then you believe God can get them through. Amen. Amen. Sometimes you need to come to church every service just because you are out of faith, but somebody else is not. And you need to surround yourself with people who still believe. There are times I don't have the faith or the spiritual ability to get to Jesus, but there are other people who believe for me that I can receive a miracle. And I'm telling you, I believe for you. I don't think it's over. Tell your neighbor it's not over. God's done it for me. He'll do it for you. It's not over in Jesus' name. Amen. Are you willing to let somebody embarrass you for your miracle? Because it is very embarrassing when people pick you up, put you in a bed, climb a roof, and start tearing somebody else's roof off to give you a miracle. Are you prepared to be embarrassed with your four friends get a hold of you? Because I grew up in this thing all my life, and I've been the one being carried. I've been the embarrassed party. But I was also the recipient of the miracle at the end, and I'm grateful for people who will embarrass me for my miracle. I don't want to go to that church. Somebody might carry me on a rooftop, but you might walk out of this service today. You may receive a miracle from God today. Now, I'm going to tell you who knows how to carry people on roofs, and that's the minister we've chosen. 
and he will carry you up on a roof today. And I'm so grateful for the ministry of Brother Mathis because his gifting is he don't care about what's in the way. We're going to tear it up to get you your miracle. Brother Mathis has told me that some pastors haven't always liked his methods. And he loves coming to this church because we allow him to work in his gifting. And so I want to tell everybody that's not used to him that it might be a little different, but if you'll let him work in the gifts of the Holy Ghost, you will have a miracle in your life before you leave today. I believe it's going to happen in this service today. Right now is a good chance to go to the bathroom, slip to your car. If you don't want it bad enough, it will offend you. But I hope today you come in here with a need. I hope you come in here to help somebody else with their need. Maybe you don't have a need, but maybe you need to carry somebody's corner of their bed because they came here with a need. And we're honored to have Brother Mathis' ministry with us. He is not just a kid's evangelist. He is also a kid's evangelist. And the way I see him is he can do both. Some of us can only do one. But he has been multi, multiple giftings for him. And he can minister to children. He can minister to all adults, all people. And he is a very unique man of God. He's a treasure from heaven. And we're blessed to have his ministry at our church. And I'm telling you, if you'll let him work and not, not lock him up and have a lack of faith, but let him do what he feels and get with him, I'm telling you, obey what God is trying to do, you will receive today in this service. While Brother Mathis is coming, greet your neighbor. Tell him it's good to see you. Tell him I believe for you. Tell him I'll carry your bed any day. Tell him I'll break a roof off for you any day. It's about to happen in this service in Jesus' name. While you're doing whatever you're doing right now, I want to say this before. Um, the lyrics in this song, I want them to, I want them to be a, uh, it's more than a song. Somebody wrote these words because they said, God, if you said it, I believe it, and it's done. Now, if you change it from singing a song and you get somebody up here to preach it, said, You've said it, God. I believe it. It's done. Y'all ready to sing? You said, I believe it is done. Now, I want you to say it like you really believe. Whatever in the world you stand in need of today, do you believe? Because God said it. It's going to be done. You said, I believe, you said, it is done. Today, today it's done. Yes, I believe, you said, whatever it is, it is done. Now I want you to start flowing in the Holy Ghost. What is God saying in your life? That He says, this is going to happen. Now, the next step is, do you believe it? Lift your hands. And I want you to begin to sing this as an anthem. You said it is done. Yes! Some of you are examples of that. It is done. Sing. I, I refuse to let God be a liar. He's true. True. He said it. Believe it. Lift your hands. 
prepare this place for whatever the word is going to do. Not because I'm preaching, but because God is going to say something in this place today. Now he's going to say it. Do you believe it? There's got to be the second step. You've got to believe. You've got to believe. I want you to lift your hand and say, I believe. I believe. It is done.